you do a little bit of clickbait. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. And you get sh- like, isn't that the whole? What? What? I'm gonna ask you because I'm not going to assume. What was the issue with you and Joe? The issue, uh, there's like so many levels to it, but like the initial. Give us the origin. We were always cool. And then I went on his podcast and he really tried to like do the thing where he like went in on me about doing too much street shit and talking about federal ass questions or whatever. But that that was fine. We were still cool after that. But then I think he got mad because I was doing a little like a uh, celebration victory lap on the podcast a little too much talking about how I whooped his ass on the podcast one on, uh, you know, four on one or whatever. Cause it was like a bunch of dudes and me and then, and he wasn't really feeling that. And then, but the, the primary sin that really pissed him off was somebody on my news team posted about some of his old domestic violence shit. Cause like, I don't even know which story it was honestly, but like one of the girls that he's had shit with in the past, they came out saying some shit and he was mad that we posted it because he's saying that's old shit. Like, why are y'all posting about shit where there's not, there's nothing new being added to this. It's not news. It's just somebody from my past that I feel he felt like they were lying or they were misrepresenting the truth. And so he's saying like, you know, why did y'all post that? And I, and I remember the day cause I remember texting him and I was boarding a flight and I'm going, I'm lo- lo- loading my lug- luggage up, whatever. I'm already in a fucking pissed off mood. And I remember I was like a little rude to him about, about taking the post down or something. And, uh, I think that pissed him off. I think that's like really where it got started. So why y'all that would have known? On my rap song I put out, I told him that if I had seen him in the strip club, that I would have smacked the shit out of him. <laughs> and I think he responded, but I didn't see it. But think, were you serious though? Nah, I was, obviously I'm not. I'm not like a fighter. I always got you know security with me out of town and shit like that. So no, nah, I have no desire to punch Joe. I I, I think he might have responded though, but it was like an Instagram. Somebody put it on their Instagram story and said like, "Ha Joe chalking shit." But I haven't. I, I assume somebody was going to post it in the Reddit. But it might be like a Patreon exclusive or something. I don't know. So did you ever apologize or anything? If you were just joking, like, did you try to clear it up? I mean, like- the rap thing is just jokes, so I'm not definitely not apologizing for that. But I, I did apologize kind of about being uh, too careless with his feelings and his reputation, et cetera, by not being quicker mm-hmm. to take that post down. I should have been a better friend when it came to that. So, so I, I can acknowledge that I was wrong in that situation. Because on here you say we don't see eye to eye, so I'm assuming like it's still issues, but it sounds like, you were the issue, Adam. Like it sounds like yeah. you ain't. You should have just been a man. But, but then you know. All right. So this is just to get even deeper into it. He, when I was going through shit, when I'm getting exposed or canceled or whatever, when all those dudes left the podcast, he had an amp radio show, the Amazon thing. Mm-hmm. He gets on my ass like, "Yo, you haven't talked to anybody about this. Do do a, a conversation with me over the phone about it for my amp radio show." And so I did it. And I had multiple people in the music industry that I trust tell me not to do it. Just hit me up. Like, don't do that shit with Joe. He's going to use it as an opportunity to just be a dick, and he's going to – it's not a good idea. And I'm, like, thinking, nah, me and Joe are boys. I should have listened because he definitely took it as an opportunity to not not treat me with, you know, a a kind hand by by all means, which – to be fair, given how that Instagram post drama went up, went down, I can't really 100% blame him. So I got to accept responsibility for even him doing that, you know? But also, even, like, I was going to ask about the integrity piece. Because mm-hmm. I feel like, again, bro, I'm not here to judge your, your, your platform. I think you did a great job. But far as, I feel like people challenge you when it comes to integrity mm. of hip-hop, right? I feel like you run your shit like a business. Mm. Who knows? Joe could have been running his shit like a business, right? could have... And it had to be personal, right? Where do you draw the line between integrity and this is just business? I mean, one way to look at integrity <clears throat> would be to say that if somebody on my news team posts about a woman describing her domestic violence situation with a famous hip-hop podcaster, that me taking it down just because he's somebody I have a relationship with, that that's not the greatest example of integrity, right? So I think Wait, a lot- it's not? Because if that's somebody you got a relationship with, that would be integral. Okay, so if Harvey Weinstein, I guarantee you Harvey Weinstein had great relationships with a lot of people that worked at the TV networks and shit, right? But when you're talking about Harvey Weinstein, you're talking okay, about you and Harvey your Harvey Weinstein's a pretty good example though, right? It's like, if a, if a woman is coming out and telling her story and people think it's newsworthy, just because you own that platform, because you're friends with somebody, you're going to yeah, delete so it? That's the opposite no, of integrity. If I do it, so for example, right? 
if if I do an interview with somebody, matter of fact, Lecrae D1, right? So they had like a few. I asked Lecrae about D1. Mm-hmm. I'm an interviewer. I'm going to ask the question. But shortly after, I'm like, yo, D1, just letting you know, I had Lecrae on here. We talked about you because that's my homie. That's a, somebody I call a friend. Mm. That's integrity. Now, depending on how they look at it, I don't know. But that's what I look Did at. Did you put it out? Yeah. But I at least hit him first. Like, yo, just want to let what you know. What if he didn't want you to put it out? We would have to talk about it. But at least I did my part in letting you know, like, yo, or how do you like this? Right? Now, if he don't like it, we might have to talk some more. I mm. don't know. I ain't, we ain't get that far. But usually it'd be cool. Even if it's not cool, they'll try to play the upper hand but or the man. A lot of like, people end up just having a hard time, like, wrapping their head around the whole situation with, like, I run a news page. I have a bunch of people working on it whose job is to fact check shit. And, you know, granted, our news team was a little less evolved at that point. But, you know, it's like a lot of times they'll post about somebody that I have a cool relationship with. And that person will hit me up and be like, what the fuck? Like, I don't want that up. Mm. And I got to be like, yeah, well, I mean, it's news. It's like it's not really. It's not about if you want it up. It's about the fact that it's newsworthy. And, you know, it gets really complicated when you're talking about shit that is like, you know, domestic violence or assault or whatever shit that like really could permanently smear somebody's name. And that's why it's dope to be able to do interviews where you could, in theory, like be able to get the right version of the story and be able to drill in and ask all the questions you want to ask. But a lot of times when it comes to the news shit, it's just spur of the moment. Like we're just posting shit like, you know, and it's, you don't really get a chance to dig in the deepest that you want, but it's also like, you know, if there's somebody on my team that thinks it's really newsworthy and they end up putting all this information together and making the post, when do you take it down? What, what red flags have to go up in order to take it down? Cause the standard can't be, I like the guy. Yeah. Because nah. if I, you know, I probably, if I worked in the movie industry or whatever, I probably would have liked Harvey Weinstein. Not to say that Joe's like Harvey Weinstein, but, you know, no, you Harvey Weinstein was able to pull all kinds of switches and levers to get stories killed before they came out about him for years and years and years before it spilled over and it was unavoidable. No, I mean, I'm listening. I, I it's think a tricky right. situation. How do you even, because I think that's the most annoying part about doing these interviews, because you sit down with somebody, you have a great conversation, even if you talk about some shit that's trending, even if it's not that bad, they want to pull it. And it's like, bro, come on, son. Like, and then you the bad guy when you don't want to pull it. So I, I get it. Mm. How do you, how was you able to navigate through that? Do you just not pull nothing? Because I'm pretty sure you had rappers or artists like, yo, can we take that part out? It's like, bro, what? It is weird because it's like, if it's newsworthy and it's not hurting anybody. Now I can understand like, you know, there's shit. I could think, I just thought of a rapper. I do not always show the integrity that I might sometimes feel like you know, it's just it's just never that simple. Like, there's a rapper that I can think of right now, and we got a cool relationship. And there was, you know, his girl went on a crazy rant at one point talking about him beating the shit out of her. And I, uh, you know, it's somebody close to the brand, somebody that, like, I respect and I fuck with a lot. Probably nobody would guess it. And I told the team, like, I don't want to cover this one because I know this bitch, and I know they're getting back together. And sure enough, they're back together. And... Maybe I got a little too much empathy for him because I know that if we had posted that shit that it probably would have uh, fucked up some serious financial opportunities for him and shit, and I felt bad for him because I didn't even know if I believed her. Mm-hmm. You know, just as like a person close to the situation, I was like, you know, it really feels like she's just saying everything. So, I mean... I feel like you're saying somebody that we all know. Yeah, I don't even think you know what I'm talking about, but... The girl? Some of them might put it together. The girl's not famous. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, the chick that did millions of dollars on OnlyFans. When she came out and said her boyfriend was beating up, then they got back together. Oh, uh, Bad Baby. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. I ain't seen her in a while. 